Hello, everybody, and thanks for checking out another video. Hello, everybody, and thanks for checking out another video here on G4G Games for Gamers. Today, we are taking a look at the brand new PvP season that dropped just a short while ago in Marvel Avengers Alliance. It has a QB type quest system going on with it. The first quest you have, Satana gives it to you in a dialogue box, is to go and defeat the Living Pharaoh. You can either defeat him in Season 2, Chapter 2, Mission 1, or Spec Op 16, Mission 1. So, it dropped with enough time to give people um, time to uh, hit him up you know, during the actual spec op. The other quest that you get is this, sort of like the staff and some of the other things. And here it is, Cryptessence Ritual. And um, the pieces come from the store, one by playing PvP. The Essences of Dominations will drop in the store and boss galas I don't know what boss galas means but um, maybe galleries or spinners or something I don't know but it's basically saying you get them in the spec ops or you get them in the store now this PvP season honestly I'm really pissed at play dumb for doing this so quickly I feel like we just got over a PvP season. And we did. I mean, it, it's not like we just did. We honestly did. Not to mention that there are still some people who don't have their Venoms and their staffs and their bruiser suits and everything. I feel Playdom was really, really stupid in putting this so close because everybody has that sour taste in their mouth from the last season and the whole debacle and the Deadpool glitches and right now apparently over on the Android version uh, the biometric card is causing freezing so if unless you one shot the enemy agent the biometric ID card is going to go off and cause you to do the force refresh and you're going to lose I didn't really know that that was going on because I don't play it, but I happened to stumble upon um, the forums for the Android version over on the Marvel Avengers Alliance wiki and read uh, a thread on it. So, of course, everybody is really curious as to how is the meta going to work out in this PvP season. Like, are, are we going to see the death of scrolls and mystics and everything like that because of this guy right here pesty beast or horse beast um, so I'm just gonna go through a little bit of what the rewards are going to be and um, trying out a group that I, in the two battles I fought so far I, I have seen the biggest hit that I have ever seen in my entire life in PvP, and I'm not even level 300. So, okay, silver is 100k silver. Gold is 10 gold. Diamond is going to be this staff called Grim Mace. Doesn't seem like it has a particularly high top end. It's going to have a one round cooldown, which means it'll be up for standard agent moves, but like if you're a tactician and you use it once, you're not going to be able to use it on your second tactical turn. Adamantium, customized, deadly crits, true strike. So, eh, you know, it's okay. Um, it's, it's not rectifying any bonifications here, but it's, yeah, it's, it's okay. Uh, the suit is a blaster, and typical to the bruiser where extending recharge gives you the rage. On this one, it's extending the recharge gives you the blaster bonus and the winner over here over in adamantium league the venom if you will the 
uh, the domino is going to be this guy, Hogan. I, I've never heard of this guy. Then again, I'm, you know, I prefer Marvel over DC, but I'm not complete, like, I'm not really a comic person, but I've really enjoyed the Marvel Universe way more than DC, and I do play the uh, Marvel MMO. And I, I mean, I know a little bit about the Marvel world, but I've never heard of this guy Hogan before. He is a Scrapple Trader. An Infl Scrapper? An Infl Papper? I like Scrapple Trader. He is a dual purpose Scrapper Infiltrator. He counts as both a Scrapper and an Infiltrator and gains the advantages and disadvantages of both. So that means he's going to enrage a bruiser, but he's going to double hit an infiltrator. Conversely, he's going to get counterattacks off of a tactician, and he will actually lose a scrapper versus scrapper battle. So it would be really hysterical to eventually see what Hogan versus Hogan is going to be like. That's probably going to be divided by zero and the world is going to crash. And he has Way the Warrior, chance to perform an attack when an ally attacks or is attacked, so he's Ares. He's Sabretooth. You know, um, he is Iceman to a certain degree. So, he's a jump-in guy. Um, kind of like others. And, um, it'd be interesting if he jumps in Let's say he jumps in on a bruiser. Is he going to cause that bruiser to get enraged? I don't think so, since it's not a uh, targeted attack. But So yeah, very, very interesting. And actually, I think a weak kind of reward here. Um, I, I just don't know. I, I don't know that I have the mental fortitude to commit to getting to this border like I did during the Venom season. I, I just got lucky and did well. I was like, wow, this is really working out, and I'm going to push. And I was like, right here, just like right about here. And um, I could have did a real grand push if I wanted to, and to, like the whole day off of work thing, but I didn't. So let's take a look at the team that I have going over here. And these guys, all right. So, in round one, I put out Famine's Toll, and I put out X Oblivion. And, um, from there, the next turn, like, Beast did some stuff, and Satana did some stuff. The next turn, I put out No Mercy. I did a 119k at my one, level 189. 100k! And 19k. I, I, I just stood there and went, what? I, I mean, I thought it was 11k, but I noticed one whole digit had been, like, it was off the screen. I was like, holy shit. So, here is the premise behind this. Now, I don't have these guys really set up. Well, I have them partially set up on defense. But here is the premise behind them. She debuffs the group naturally by being herself. He says many of the debuffs that my group gets with Faustian Bargain gets put on the enemy when I attack. So her stuff that she debuffs the group with to build up the Dark Void and everything, Dark Pack, is going to transfer on the attack. So she goes... His thing procs, and then this goes out. That's just more attack. So I'm running a three-piece right now of the um, the Horseman Seals. One, two, and three. Crafted this, got lucky, and got this on like my second attempt at farming it. And of course, purchased this. This is going to put out Opportunity Debuffs, Pressure Point Debuffs, and now Chaos Shot Debuffs. This is going... I haven't even gotten to use this, but this will do Death Frost, Doom, and Despair. This exploits all of that crap, and Famine's Toll is just a quick action, and it's going to lessen the damage coming in. He is going to do his stuff. She's going to do her stuff. So let's take a look 
at a fight. I did this once in practice before the PvP season started, and was like, eh, okay, yeah, it's, it should work in theory, but I don't know that it necessarily will. And then the two fights I've done since it's been live, uh, I'm just mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. But, you know, with any luck in this video, it's going to be awful. Alright, so we have a bruiser, not weak to him. We have a generalist, called Agent Coulson, haha, ha, very original. And we have a tactician, so Satan is going to have a field day, and then nothing else will be a bonus. So, uh, I'm not going to enrage. Oh yeah, I forgot even to do short fuse. I can only imagine what that hit would have been like if I had done short fuse. But I might have had a scrapper hit me in there, so... Alright, we're going to lead with Famine's Toll. Okay, Dark Pack is going out, but none of the debuffs. So they're starving, withered, and thirst. And I'll show you what this does. Uh, it does minimal amounts of damage to defense and evasion, but withered reduces damage by 10%. And now here comes the big opening salvo. Twelve. Okay, so nine, thirteen, and fourteen debuffs are out. Cornered. We got a stun because of his ISO. Dizzy, slowed, burning, bleeding, dark void, radiation, winded, impaired, neutralized, exposed, chilled, isolate, staggered, exhausted, poisoned. <laughs> off the charts debuffs here. Okay, so. He got stunned, so he gets to skip his stuff. Now here comes my notice three-round lockout. Uh, we were lulled into a false sense of fun in PvE before this went live, where you could do this right off the bat. Sucks. But we give everybody the herpes, and that kicks off one call of the wild. So let's go ahead and generalize and nanoplague somebody. And who are we going to go for? Let's go for the Hulk since he's... No, actually, let's go for War Machine because Satan is going to go for him also. Alright, so fairly nice opening hit. He can't heal. He's generalized, but he's not strong against anybody. All those deep... Look at all those debuffs. He's almost dead. Minimal de Ooh, he stunned. Ooh, stunned and gave me the herpes. But then this is going to happen. So, Sympathy Iso heals her a little bit because of magic. Now they have Melt Armor and Bane. He just got re-staggered. Alright, let's see what the agent whips out over here. Now, look at the difference in the two teams' health over here. Halfway dead... Almost halfway dead. Death's door. Alright, so he's going to lessen his damage. And here comes the big one. Alright, so enraged off a short fuse. Is he going to be able to protect? Takes reduced damage. War Frenzy Guardian. Single target melee. <sighs> he's going to jump in, but let's see. Eh, he jumps in, and here's the hit. Bam! 20k. Massive overkill. 20.5k. He's gone. He's a death door. He has four Hulk ups. He's gonna spread some of the herpes here. Let's see. Does the AoE spread it? Oh, combat reflexes. <laughs> here comes. Yeah, he spread herpes. Bing bada boom! Massive overkill and over look at that. What did I do? I, I, I could have been William Murderface and slapped the keyboard with my schlongus, and this battle would have been over. That's, <laughs> That's all I gotta say. And there's a cryptic puzzle piece. Ace Man is done.
So now how I've been kidding him out is uh, I think he has a little bit of a stamina issue. Especially if he does his level 2 more than once in a battle. So I've been trying to bump up his stamina mostly. His health I'm avoiding touching. And he's somewhat defensive, somewhat accurate. So I think maybe um, starting to move on to perhaps some greens. I, I really don't want to give him anything that has stamina in it. So I may have to go to the store. But oh no, excuse me, health. I want to be giving him, let's see, stamina and defense. That might not be too bad. Health, stamina, defense, stamina, evasion. This would probably be pretty solid. Because his attack is, is doing pretty good. It's at four bars already. Uh, he's fun. I, I, I want to see him grow larger. I want to see his levels go up. Because when he just had Snowball's chance, he was okay. Getting cold day definitely made him more fun so let's see if we can scoot in another quick victory over here and uh, we'll end the video after that but I, I mean that one round oh doom <laughs> hello tactician doom so nice to see you Let's see how this works out. This will be... Oh, ooh -hoo. Nah. 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 Okay, so Famine Soul. His health is about... His health is a little behind my age and sequel to Satana's. Doctor Doom's, of course, beefy. But Satan is going to rip him a new ass. Off balance, weakened, dizzy, poisoned, winded, cornered, exposed, slowed. Oh, Doom is taking it up the metallic -y magic pooper. Evasion. Alright, and up, 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 up. Hey! Hey, how are you going? Hey, 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 hey. What happened to Satana then? Ah, oh, coward, really? The coward prevented that? Alright, time for the herpes. And... Let's go for Doom. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Just... So pretty. So, so pretty. Nah, Ring Imperial, of course, jackass. Ah, uh, an another mosquito bite. Alright, so what to do here? Could I... <laughs> doom, doom? But no, I'd, I'd rather do this. Hi-ho! Oh, I didn't enrage. Yep, still. Just epic overkill. Forgot to enrage. So, he passed Dizzy on because of Satana. So now, let's see what she does. Good googly moogly. I <laughs> just... Damn. And there you go. There's a, a, another slap the keyboard with my longest victory. And I, I just... Do you think I really should set it up as a defensive? Maybe I should set that up as a defensive. We'll see. Um, because this will have some benefits being on defense. They'll get some extra turns. Uh, and he, he doesn't even have... Look at this. This is something I want to show here. He doesn't even have his Jekyll and Hyde yet, which exploits attrition. So he's not exploiting any of the debuffs that are going out from my agent. Um, just, it's, it's badass. It's just badass. And I think he is going to prove to be 
part of the meta beast, no pun intended, that people are thinking. It sucks to lose that level two in the first round, but I, I haven't even needed it yet. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video here on the beginning of the Hogan PvP season, a.k.a. Playdom's biggest mistake. <sighs> we'll see if he can, if this group continues being fun. Um, maybe I'll commit to it, but the moment it starts being stressful, I'm going to be like, screw these guys. So, but this, this I'm definitely going to craft, can, seeing as how the cube worked out. Maybe this will be interesting. So... Uh, take care, everybody, and hope you enjoyed another video here on G4G Games for Gamers. Have a good one.